I'm Clara. Last month, a customer bought a Max Photonics 2000 watt laser source from me, and last week, I helped him to finish the replacement of his old laser source. Today, I'm going to share the basic steps to install a new Max Photonics laser source, but it doesn't include the candy head connection. If you just need a reference, my video will be helping. But if you are quite freshman to the laser source, I do not suggest you to install a new laser source by yourself. Go for your suppliers or professionals. To reiterate, I'm not an employee of Max Photonics and not all of my instructive content originate from Max Photonics. Please consult Max Photonics for all property knowledge of Max Photonics. You can find their website in the description below. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you think my videos are useful, please give me your like. It helps me out immensely. Thank you for your support. Generally, we need to install a new laser source under two conditions. It's a new machine. I believe you must have a professional team helping you to get a new machine. So probably you can teach me something. So today the video is not going to tell how to install a new laser to a new table. But I do have an advice if you are considering to purchase a fabulous laser carting machine from China. Please require a separated cable for connecting laser source. Just like the video I shown here, it will be much easier to find and solve problems, and even after years, easier to replace a new laser source. A separated cable will help saving a lot of trouble to find suitable parts at the control board. Another condition is your current laser source is not working. You need to replace a new one. Several points before installing the new laser source. Number one, please don't remove any data or wires of the old laser. It's necessary to keep the data in machine configure tool. Number two, if the old laser is other brands, there are some same wires as the Max Photonics laser source, like the PWM positive negative, DA positive negative. We can copy exactly those wires way, connecting those wires of new laser just the same as how you remove the wires of the old laser. It's the same in the sighting of machine configure tool. We can see over here, there are little differences in laser setting, but the same part is that they all have PWM positive and negative and DA selection boxes. After the wires connection, copy exactly the same data to Max Photonics. Number three, if the old laser is Max Photonics laser source, do exactly the same as the removal of old laser both wear connections and setting in machine configure tool. Only one action, copy. Number four, if you have removed the old laser and lost all data in machine configure tool, we need to do it from the very beginning. We need to install the fabricware to the canning head. It's a mechanical process. A short video will display the steps Please keep the entire installation environment clean and dust-free. If the fiber tip is affected by a little dust, it may cause contamination of the upper protective lenses or more serious problems.
about the ground wear PE if there are other high voltage equipments in the same factory area the ground wear is not recommended because the electromagnetic waves of other equipments will affect the laser and even cause a high temperature fare of the fiber optic cable in severe causes however there are also feedbacks that if the ground wire is not connected, it may cause laser leakage from the cutting head. The suggestion given is that it's best to ground the entire equipment. If the ground is soft, I mean your factory floor soft, dig a hole and bury a conductive metal tube, lead any ground wire from the equipment and wrap it around the mental tube. We need to find the six wires on the Max Photonics laser. The wear labels are EN positive and negative, DA positive and negative, PWM positive and negative. These six wires need to be connected to the corresponding positions on the control board and the corresponding positions on the board should be EM positive needs to be connected to any free part located in one era and the corresponding port number must be entered in the configuration tool. EN negative needs to be connected to any of the free COM parts located in four area. PWM positive and negative needs to be connected to the port located in three area and the positive and negative must be correct. DA positive needs to be connected to the empty port located in five area and the corresponding port number must be entered in the background configuration. DA negative needs to be connected to the free port located in two area and entered the corresponding port number in the background configuration. After the installation is completed, the laser needs to be turned on. The sequence of the starting the laser should be turned on the K switch wait for more than 10 seconds we should hear a beeping sound b then press the button to the left of the key switch after power on if all steps are correct a right light indicator should appear under the cutting head if there is no right light please check whether the dust proof film on the fiber height is removed or whether the power button at the back of the laser case is turned down. Then we need to open the background configuration tool for parameter setting. PWM positive should be 1, PWM negative should be 2. Shutter enable should be the same as the number of the connected port. For example, the number of the port connected to EM positive is 012 and 012 should be the selected here. The D port should be the same as the port name connected to DA positive. For example, the port connected to DA positive is DA2 positive. Here we should choose DA2. The last part is to decrypt. Of course, we should have the password of the laser at this time. If not, please contact the supplier immediately. First, we need to go to the website download center, install software, and download the G3 series software installation guide. Decompress the downloaded compressed package and install the operating environment and monitoring software refer to the G3 series software installation guide then there should be a G3 series shortcut on the desktop 
check the com communication interface of the laser backplane. Use the communication cable to connect it to the computer and power on the laser. Double click the desktop G3 series shortcut to open the monitoring software and enter the following connection interface. If the laser backplane is an Ethernet interface, select the communication mode of the monitoring software as IP2. Enter the laser IP address. The default is 192.168.0.178 and click the login button to try to connect with the laser. If the laser is powered down, the model can match the monitoring software. It will enter the following monitoring interface. Get into the decryption page. Input the code. Decryption is completed. In fact, you can operate according to the content in the Max Photonics laser manual. There is a Max Photonics laser manual in the description. Please download it by yourself. Trust me, it's free. At this point, we can perform the normal cutting test, provided that all the installations are correct. The chiller is running normally and the gas is not If you need me to offer service, no matter it's laser cutting, laser marking, or laser welding, please feel free to write to me. My contact information is over here. Or you can also find my contact in the description below. Both WhatsApp and the mail are super fine, but I need to explain myself. Not all services I'm capable of are free, like this personal check is not free. Hoping you can understand. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.